Hello everyone. I'm back for another little quick video about the jelly plate and techniques on the jelly plate. Uh, today I'm going to use chalk. Now there's some really fancy chalks out there called pan pastels and I don't have any of those. But I do have, this is an old set of decorating chalks from Stampin' Up! From days. Um, this is says for a pastel touch. I, I've had these forever and ever. So today we're going to play with them a little bit. They're just a chalk. I also have out a good old box of sidewalk chalk. Now, these are a little harder to use. And they're brand new. The outsides of them are very, um, what do I want to say? Uh, the outside is must be coated in something because they are very, very um, kind of hard on the outside. They're not soft like I, like most chalk is. And of course, this is sidewalk chalk, so it's formulated so that it will um, scrape off on the... Uh, well, how about that? Now, that was fun. Um, it left a little chalky substance from where it was in the container, but they're not, they're not as soft. So when you, you wipe on them with the, um, makeup sponge, it doesn't come off real well because the outside has got sort of a coating on it. Um, I'm going to play with them anyways, uh, just to show you how they, they work and what can be done with them. Um, we're just going to start by putting some chalk on the plate. So that you can see what it looks like when it when you go over it with uh, paint. And I am just, as you can see, dipping it the makeup sponge and and making marks. I'm just making marks. Um, now, obviously, there's way more. Um, involved things that you can do with this but right now I'm just I just wanted you to see what it looks like on the plate of course the softer the chalk is the more easily it's going to go down on the plate like that. But uh, if you have to, with something like this, if you just scrape it onto the plate a little bit, It'll spread out. It's pretty faint because that was a light color. Let's pick a different color to go in there with. Now another thing about using chalk on the jelly plate is that, as you know, pastels or chalk on the jelly plate are not, are, are normally you have to seal pastels or chalk. It, it they, they will come up. But when you put it, go over it with the acrylic paint, it grabs it and it seals it right then. So apparently I let the paint, I didn't get enough paint, but huh, always just what you wanted, Tanya, to not get enough paint. So you can see where I put the chalk down. 
Okay, let's uh, let's do another let's do another pull, <laughs> and uh, with a little bit more paint. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, there's still chalk on the plate and it's still coming up. So there's a lot of, of pulls you could do with this chalk. Now, the fun part of this is really using it, say, through a stencil. So what we're going to do is we are going to come in here. Now, as you can see, the orange didn't show up very well with the pink. Should have known that. Um, not unheard of. I love how the softer pastel chalks work. Of course, the better the softer the chalk is going to make it work better. But these sidewalk chalks still work. Uh, it's just a matter of the softer chalks working better for you know ease kind of thing so I'm going to do one more thing just because it was fun um now I'm not going to clean that off you could clean this off cleaning your plate is up to you I happen to like the layering look that, that things give it but what I'm going to do is um I'm going to put this chalk down like this all over the plate now this other backgroundy stuff is probably going to come up with it
Okay, so there's one more thing I want to try, and that is to um, put this kind of chalk down just as a um, sprinkle. And I'm just going to sprinkle it all over. I did not clean the plate. Um, if, if you want each of your prints to not have... Uh, background pieces and things that pull up off the plate from other prints then you need to clean your plate in between uh, I happen to like the grungy stuff so I just leave it I, I like it to uh, do that layering kind of look It might be fun. I don't have any white chalk, but it might be fun to just try white chalk and putting a real dark background behind it. Uh, I don't know if you can even see all of the yummy colors that are in there. But I'm going to do one more with the softer chalks just to play with it just a little bit. Um, Now, with white paint, your chalk is not as subtle. Remember, though, it is already sealed on there. You've got layer left in there. I could probably pull some more up and get some more layers of paint. Um, this is, I really think, a lot of fun. Remember that um, I'm going to pull in close, but remember that you can wash these out. So it be easy enough to wash them out and use them again. Uh, the softer the chalk work is better, but uh, these lovely little sidewalk chalks worked too, and they were a lot of fun to play with. So, you know, something different. Let me pull up all my um, fun layers. This video got really long. Sorry about that, guys. Um, this is where I just sponged the chalk onto the plate and then used a light color to pick it up. I didn't 
have quite as much uh, paint as I probably should have had and therefore it left a lot on the plate but I did another pull uh, with not quite as light a color and more paint and it pulled again. So the chalk leaves enough on the plate to, um, to continue to pull things up. Oh, these are out of order here. Just a minute. Okay. This is where I put the chalks down. Uh, with the stencil but then I used a sort of dark color to pull it up and you get one look and this I just uh, scraped some paint on to, or some chalk on and there was enough chalk left from this pole to give me more of that same design with the chalk I did use a lighter color paint and then this is where I just scrape the chalk all over. And you see, I still have some of the other design on there. The chalk stays on your plate for quite a while. So if you don't want that buildup, then you're going to need to clean your plate in between. I just, I just kind of hate cleaning my plate in between every pull because I happen to like those layers of buildup. I really love the little splattery, bunches of color in this and all I did was take the sidewalk chalk and scrape it out onto the paint and then I wanted to do another pull with the stencil because I had used colored um, colors of paint and they did not show the colors of the chalk as well as I wanted you to see um, so that shows the colors of the chalk because I used white paint. But again, you can still see that I'm getting some um, background from the, the chalk that's still on my plate. And I, I could continue working as long as I want. The thing about the scraping of the paint one, I've never done that one before. Okay, but I wanted to remind you guys that playing on the jelly plate is 90% of the fun. Um, it's just really, really, really uh, a lot of fun to play and get new designs and new techniques with the jelly plate. So don't hesitate to play with it. If, if you... I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. If you get a pull you don't like, there is no reason that you can't paint over it another day. That you can't pull another print off of it. Just let it get dry, which craft paint gets dry very quickly, and do another pull. Do something else. Stamp on it. Doodle on it. Something like that. It's paint and paper and your time. So as long as you're having fun, just keep on doing it. And for now, I'm going to tell you, go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.